Hi, my name is Marchin. I'm applying for the Shuttleworth Fellowship Extension to 2013. Last year I promised to finish the entire Global Village construction set by the end of 2012. This did not happen. We lacked the process, structure, and management, and on top, our physical infrastructure broke down this summer as the numbers grew out of control. To address this, we have spent 110k on physical infrastructure and housing in this last year, and we're building the organization. It's clear to me now that the former ad hoc development process does not scale without organizational infrastructure. I tried to continue ad hoc this year, got stretched too thin, and failed. However, progress is continuing. This year we've built a total of seven new machines compared to one new prototype from last year, and now we have 13 independent replications of GVCS machines in four countries compared to a single first independent replication of the brick press last year. To date, we've completed 15 unique versions of the 50 different prototypes, and 62 machines were built in total. The highlight for this year is we have demonstrated a build of a complete compressed earth brick press in four days with unskilled labor as opposed to the months of development for our first machine. Our goal for November, we aim to get this down to two days and down to a single day in December. We are optimizing the production methods radically. We will apply digital fabrication such as our open source CNC torch table for cutting parts for the brick press in one hour. Attaining efficient distributed production will be a major milestone, which for us means achieving a bootstrap funding model where we can gain 5,000 cleared in one day based on a 9,000 sale price of the machine. The implications are a viable alter alternative to centralized production. So here's the action plan. The present challenge is transition from vision to institution. The goal is to build a team and process until the end of 2013, and then in 2014, engage a two-year rapid development phase. Rapid means six prototypes built per month with capacity to scale to 12 on demand upon availability of funding. To get there, we'll do the following. Most importantly, build the structure. This starts with our strategic plan, and we're now working on positioning, enterprise strategy, streamlined development process, organizational processes handbook, and media strategy. We, we applied for tax-exempt status and are now also developing the for-profit side as part of the hybrid enterprise model. Second, develop collaborative production. Right now, we're leaning towards the OSE microfactory as the revenue stream for scaling our work. Based on initial results of the 5,000 per day net earnings approach, we intend to demonstrate that four people working eight hours per day can bootstrap $20,000 in four days of work as our funding model from our 4,000 square foot production facility. Third, build a team. We have shifted away from hiring dedicated fabricators as we found that the two-day collaborative production runs in-house are sufficient to build out prototypes while building team cohesion. Thus, we're recruiting a product lead, who is the operations leader for prototyping, plus four more full-time machine designers in addition to the one that we've re recruited already. We have also recruited a development director, videographer, executive assistant, and farm manager. Fourth, we are clarifying our development process, reducing our complicated 120-step development pathway to 20 mission-critical development and documentation steps, using wikis, Google Docs, SketchUp, and other low-access low barrier tools. Fifth, we're refocusing development strategically around module-based design as opposed to machine-based design. It turns out that it takes about 13 modules to build out any of the 30 mechanical GVCS machines. Thus, we need to develop only 13 adaptable modules with attention to interfaces between these modules to build the 30 tools. A similar pattern applies to power electronics. We extend our modularity concept radically, accelerating development while making our tool set more robust and true to its product ecology nature. Sixth, we're recruiting the flash mob concept, continuing on it, recruiting experts in specific technical areas for our on-demand work sessions. We have 180 people on our database spanning design, engineering, electronics, and other areas. We will continue to recruit until we have a several thousand people on our database by year end 2013 for on-demand solutions to technical due diligence. We plan to integrate this with Stack Overflow or similar mechanism for upvoting technical answers. Last, we're developing technical review boards of industry-specific experts. These advisors, advisors will help us get our machines developed up to industry standards at accelerated speed, where we leverage our social capital for the common good in order to recruit advisors. In summary, by developing the GVCS, we're at the same time developing an open source product development methodology that is intended to become the backbone of the open source economy. The five-year vision is to complete the full first OSE development and training facility, which is Factory Farm right now, which would be the first OSE incubator 
intended to scale to 144 branches worldwide within 10 years for a 100 million per year budget to sustain open product development efforts. Thank you.